By the end of this video, you'll know how to paint pine trees three different ways using varying paintbrushes. Welcome to Acrylic Arts Academy. We teach the world to paint. All of these brushes work great for painting pine trees. A fan brush, a round brush, and a flat brush. Here's how to paint a pine tree with a fan brush and a round brush. Use a small round brush and deep brown to make the tree trunk. Simply drag the paint from the bottom of the canvas up as tall as you like, lessening the pressure as you move up so that it'll become a thinner line. Load up your fan brush with deep green paint. Use your brush the wide way. Stamp paint down in rows. As you move up the tree, use the corner of the brush so that you can taper it off to a point. Now we're going to do the second part, which is using a small round brush, and we're going to lay in some slightly lighter green Paint small swooping lines in rows. These are gonna be like swoopy J shapes, and we're gonna move down the tree, creating little rows of these swoopy lines. Paint a few layers and let them dry in between. You can use varying greens for these layers if you like. While you're waiting for these layers of green paint to dry, take a little time to add some details to the tree trunk. We decided which way the light was coming from and added highlights and shadows in coordination with this. In order to avoid muddy looking color, it's time to let your painting dry before moving on. Using the same method as before, add highlights in light green using a small round brush and the J shaped brush strokes in layers. So the magic really happens with this method when you let the paint dry and add more layers, especially highlights and lowlights. It really gives great texture. How to paint a pine tree using a flat brush only. Use a flat brush straight up and down to paint a trunk as we have before. Use deep green and a slicing motion up the trunk to make spiky needles. Use our method here to traverse your way in layers and rows all the way up the tree trunk. As you keep working and layering, extend these branches outward and make things look jagged and natural. Things can be pointed in different directions at this point. In order to keep your paint looking bright, it's time to let your paint dry before moving on. Use the same method and layer again with a slightly different green. You can go with a deeper green for low lights and shadows, or you can clean your brush off and use a lighter green as a highlight. Let your paint dry in between layers as you see fit, especially if the colors are mixing together too much. In the case that your paint is mixing together and looking a bit muddled, it's time to let your painting dry before moving on. As you're adding details here, remember to use a slicing motion inward towards the trunk. You can change the angle of the lines that you're painting every now and again to get that natural texture. It's your choice as the artist how many times you want to let this paint dry and start again with a different shade of green. Um, we did several different layers and we found that this makes it look like it has a lot more depth and layering to it. Don't forget to add some really deep shades as a shadow, especially on the underside of the tree and whatever side of the tree is going to be in the shadows. Here's how to paint a pine tree using a fan brush. Create a trunk using deep brown as we have before. Apply deep green to your fan brush. 
be sure that, that you're holding the fan brush in the wide orientation. Use the brush the wide way and stamp paint down in rows. As you move up the trunk, use the corner of your paintbrush in order to taper the treetop into a tip. So the first layer may seem a little sparse, but go ahead and create a second or third layer traversing your way all the way up to the top of the tree. At this point, it would be a good idea to let your painting dry before moving on to keep the boldness of your color. Use very dark green in a few spots as shadow for this type of tree. We're using the same method of paint strokes here, but we're keeping the darker color to the center part of the tree nearest the tree trunk. And there you have it, three types of pine trees using varying paint brushes. Thanks for joining us. Did this video help you out today? If so, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more. Let us know your favorite pine tree painting method in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.